showing you guys how to make pineapple decor nail art. Now, I'm going to list the materials that you will need for this specific type of nail art, but of course, if you're going to do another type of nail art, you will need different types of materials, but for this specific one, I'm going to tell you the materials you will need. You will need a pack of nails. You can get, I use the one and a half inch but you can use whatever you prefer. I just like this because it sticks the right amount out from the board when you hammer into the board. Now, you will also need a slab of wood. Depending on how big you want your pineapple is how big you should get for the wood, but this is a five by seven inch. You will need either a hand-drawn or a printed out picture, picture of a pineapple. Usually I hand draw mine because it's simpler if I want to adjust something, but you can always print yours out because it's a thicker piece of paper. It works out. You will need some green yarn and some yellow yarn, but of course you do not have to get these huge packs of yarn. I just make pineapples a lot, so these are from previous projects that I've done. You will need a hammer some tape, and some scissors. Just grab your piece of wood and place the picture of the pineapple on the board. Uh, I'm going to take my tape. Now you can use scotch tape, masking tape, double-sided tape, whatever you prefer. And I'm going to Tape down the sides of the picture. Take your nails and you're going to put it into the points of the pineapple. And when I mean the points, I mean where the lines intersect, like here, or the outer edges where the lines end or begin. Same thing with the top of the pineapple. And then we're going to start in the middle of the pineapple and the reason I start in the middle is because sometimes I change my mind if I want to start from the bottom or if I want to start from the top but usually I start with the yellow yarn at the bottom of the pineapple so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and put the nails on the outer edges and then go in and do the points where they intersect and I'm going to do the same thing with the top Okay, so in the middle of me putting the nails into the pineapple, the paper ripped and caused a problem for me to put the rest of the nails into the picture, so I had to start over, and since, of course, I hand-drew it, I had to make a whole new pineapple and had to make it a different size and everything, so that is one of the downfalls of hand-drawing the pineapple. Now, once you're done putting nails into the whole pineapple, you want to take off the excess tape around the edges and pull the pineapple paper from the nails, like so. Now, this part doesn't matter if it rips, but it should leave a clean getaway. But you kind of want to keep it to know what it looks like while you're doing the pineapple. Okay, so... From there, you want to start with the bottom of the pineapple. And the reason you want to start with the bottom is because it takes longer. But if you would like to start with the top, that's all new. But I'm going to show you what it looks like starting with the yellow. So it would be easier to make a pre knot before putting it around the nail so you're not struggling with all these nails surrounding this one particular nail, putting it on top. So the pre tied knot, I'm going to tight nice squeeze and what you want to do is leave this here don't cut this excess yet until you have properly taken this all around the pineapple like so okay so you take this and you make sure you push it down because you don't want the once you take the pineapple yarn you take it all the way around the bottom of the pineapple and that's why I said keep the picture so you can look back at it to make sure this is the bottom of the pineapple and you make sure you push down the yarn once you've placed this on the side because 
as you can see, if it goes all the way to the top of the nail, then you won't be able to do the rest of the art that's supposed to be done. Now, now that I've went around a couple of times, I'm going to go here and I'm going to start going the line, making the lines across like this diagonal. So after I've made this lap, you're going to move, once you come back around, you're going to move down to the next piece and go a diagonal. And you're just going to keep doing it till you get to the very top. And I'm going to start from this point and go diagonal this way. And to seal up the pineapple once you've made the bottom half, you can either hot glue it or you can just tie another knot. I usually tie another knot because I don't always have my hot glue gun with me. And at this moment, it has been misplaced. So I'm just going to tie a simple knot like so. And what I'm going to do... I'm going to go under this piece of yarn and pull it from underneath and tuck it so when I cut this piece, I know for sure that it is secure 100%. So now you're going to take your handy dandy scissors and cut as close as possible without it becoming untied. There you go. Now you may cut off this piece of the pineapple and you will start your top half. The top half of the pineapple is a lot trickier because it's more scattered. And so that's what I always say. Refer back to your original piece and look at the detail. It's going to be super hard, but I know I can do it. So this is when you're going to take your green and start on the top half and at this point I'm going to start at the base of our lovely pineapple well the base of the top of the pineapple which will be the end of the bottom half and you're going to tie a knot around here the same way you did for this piece of the pineapple so you can go around the top half And like I said, make your pre-knot to put on your piece. What you're going to do, voila. Now, that's why I say depending on which part you start with, because the green's going to cover up the yellow right here, but if you want the yellow to cover up the green at this part, you would most likely start with the green and go to the yellow. But I always start with the yellow and go to the green. This knot. Now once again, of course, like I said, you can hot glue it to make sure it stays more secure, but I am currently misplaced my hot glue gun. So, I'm just going to knot it. Then, I'm going to snip it as close as possible without it coming undone. Then, I'm going to do it the same. So, down here. Okay. And, there you have it. Your complete, lovely pineapple.